TGIF family. This is Pastor Flowers here at Transformation Community Church. And this is Friday Drill with Pastor Flowers. And I have a word that is going to absolutely encourage you, uplift you, and get your mind stayed on Jesus so that you'll be able to deal with anything that comes your way this weekend. Amen and hallelujah. So we're going to title this, Jesus Chose You. And the word is going to come out of John 5, 8 through 9. And the word says, Jesus said, get up, pick up your mat and walk. At once the man was cured, he picked up his mat and walked. So family, this is a story of a lame man at Bethesda that met Jesus. So when Jesus asked him, hey, do you want to get better? Do you want to be healed? The man had an opportunity to say yes and to be healed by Jesus. But check out what the man does. The man puts his faith in this so-called healing pool, some water, healing pool water, and he complains. He complains to other people that always cut in front of him uh, when the waters were stirred. So when the waters stirred, that's when the healing properties was taking place. Amen. So we may smirk at the man's response, but there may be times when we don't receive the offer of healing from Jesus very well also. So let me ask you something. Do you take up the opportunities that are presented to you or do we tend to complain and blame other people for our problems? Uh, do we we look and say it's everyone else's fault when things go how uh, a wire around us It's everyone else's fault except the man in the mirror. Amen. And hallelujah. So thankfully, the story of the lame man in John five shows us. That healing is not about us. It's not about you and it's not about me. It's about Jesus. Everything in the Bible is about Jesus from Revelations when it says, I mean, from a Genesis when it says in the beginning, all the way to Revelations to the very end when it says, amen, the whole Bible is about Jesus. Amen and hallelujah. So even though the man didn't respond to Jesus in faith, Jesus still healed him. And even though the man complained, Jesus still gave him the ability to walk and check this out. And even when we do not approach Jesus in the complete faith or obedience that he so rightfully deserves, Jesus still offers us salvation. So the source of our salvation is never based on our own actions or our own works. It's always based on grace of God in Jesus is grace. His grace is free and undeserved. So this reminds me of what Jesus says later to his disciples in John 15 and 6. And when he says, you didn't choose me, but I chose you. Thanks. Glory to God. Thanks be to God for choosing us. He saved a wretch like me. Amen and hallelujah. Let us pray. God of grace, you love us more than we deserve. Thank you for choosing us, even when we are not wise enough to choose you. Thank you for your grace to us in Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen and hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for that word. Thank you, Lord, for that word. Thank you, Lord, for choosing us and family. Until this time next week, Friday drill with Pastor Flowers. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen and hallelujah.